I cannot be more relieved and happy right now. Hulk Hogan was just recently awarded $115 million in a privacy suit against Gawker. Now, the reason that I'm so excited about this is because I hate Gawker. Gawker is like the Tumblr substitute that we didn't know existed. But we do know existed because it's popping up on our Facebook side feed constantly with clickbait material, trying to get clicks and trying to get views on their articles. And they basically, to summarize Gawker, it is the slime ball of journal journalism, if you can even call it journalism to any extent. Uh, it's basically a gossip website, almost kind of like TMZ, except I think on a far worse scale because they do things that even I think TMZ hasn't even done themselves in terms of, you know, a giant violation of releasing someone's sex tape in full force. That's a pretty big violation. You know, I'm of the, the mindset here that if you record sexual acts in your own home and you want to record that, maybe you get off of that. I don't know. If you record that and someone steals your uh, steals that or hacks into your email and, and you know, shares that to the internet, that is one of the biggest violations of, you know, privacy that you can have. And it has finally come to the conclusion that, well, Gawker lost. Gawker is dead. Now, granted, they are attempting to appeal this right now, but I don't believe that that is going to happen. They're not going to win this appeal by any means, considering that the jury is pretty against everything they've had to say. Hulk Hogan was awarded $55 million for economic harm and $60 million in emotional distress. He asked for a total of $100 million. And typically, in court cases like this, I'm not one to side with emotional distress arguments unless it's a really severe one. And I do believe this is one of those instances where it is perfectly reasonable to sue for emotional distress under the circumstances of having your sex tape le sex tape leaked and having hundreds of people see you have sex with someone cuz that who would want that unless it's some you know fetish thing and you know this these were stolen from him these were released without his knowledge or consent and if you release sexual things without someone's consent that is wrong hands down there's no justification there's no this is journalism there's no we want do it for the clicks do it for the views that is a violation of privacy, and that is against the law. You know, even Jennifer Lawrence's most recent hacker who hacked into her iCloud system and got all of her nudes and spread all of her nudes, he was recently sentenced. So now I think we've really hit a point now where the people are realizing that they can't do this sort of shit. Spreading people's sexual photos, explicit photos that is on their phone or that is on their computer that is of them is against the law. And I think finally this is going to be a wake-up call to a lot of websites that pub pub publicize, uh, publicize, pu publicize this type of disgusting slimeball journalism which goes out to harm people simply to gain revenue. Quote, the verdict represents a statement as the public's disgust with the invasion of privacy disguised as journalism. And that was really what Gawker's entire argument was, is that they were trying to justify leaking a sex tape as this is proper journalism because it's clickbait material. And this just blows my mind at how far people will go at an attempt to garner money and revenue on their website to completely make someone feel so humiliated as to releasing something like that without their consent. I'm very confident in the failure of the appeal of Gawker that they're trying to do, saying, I quote, they didn't hear all the facts, the jury. And I'm glad that in Florida, again, Florida of all places in the states, they actually sided with Hulk Hogan and rewarded him a justice, a justice of a trial, which is something that doesn't really happen very often in regards to things like this. So Gawker is dead. Rip Gawker. Rip your scummy journalistic tactics. Your bankruptcy is right around the corner. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the trial. The link in the article is linked down below. Thank you for watching.